you to join us this morning. We're excited. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We're excited this morning because we have the privilege of gathering together in prayer. It's awesome to have the moments, to have this time when God allows us, his children, his people, those he calls his own, his royalty, those he's adopted into his privileged family, to sit at the spiritual table and talk to him together. The Bible lets us know that when we gather together in prayer, that God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who's in charge of all things, who set the heavens into order, who's risen the sun this morning and caused the breeze to flutter by us, he stops, he pauses, and he listens to our request. He hears our voice. He's glad that we've set aside our heart and our attention to talk to him. So this is a great privilege, and we know he's listening. On this morning... I want to share, as we pray, from the scripture found, 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. It says, and David was greatly distressed. Okay, but then it goes on to say, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. It starts off. But David was greatly distressed. Then it goes on. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. At this particular moment in 1 Samuel chapter 30, all of the king's friends and family, uh, all of his soldiers, man's uh, wife and children and sons had been taken captive. And they did not know if they had been murdered or just taken hostage. It's the story of Ziglag. And so David had every reason to be discouraged. The truth is, all of us from time to time have reasons to be discouraged. Things happen, things have been happening, or things are difficult, and sometimes we can get discouraged. As sure as we are human, we can get discouraged. Sometimes it's a sharp, sudden discouragement. Sometimes it's a slow, but still a discouragement. Sometimes it, it's the idea that our finances won't get better and can't get better and we're just overwhelmed and it's doubt. Other times it's disappointment. We've been trying and trying and we can't seem to get it right. And sometimes it's discomfort. It's a, it's a, this, this nagging thing that we can't seem to get in order. But all of us from time to time will be discouraged. And discouragement is dangerous. It saps away our strength, and it causes us to do things, say things, and be something that we've not been called to be. So we have to be careful not to be discouraged. The Bible tells us that David encouraged himself in the Lord, and he prayed. In fact, he said that he put on the linen ephod, which was a prayer garment. And so what we're doing today is we're praying because we believe that through prayer, like in the testimony of David, God will restore and God will redeem and God will strengthen us and give us our courage back, but he'll also give us all that the enemy has taken back. So let's pray and see God bless us. God, we thank you this day for your goodness and your favor and your kindness. God, we thank you this day for just giving us health and strength, God. We start off yes. with gratitude. We start off with articulating our appreciation for what you've already done because you've already done so much, God. You've already sustained us and maintained us, God. You've already given us new life and new understanding, God. You've already given us a new chance. Today is a new day, a day that we had not seen before, a day that we had not forecast, a day that we didn't know it's a gift from you, God. It's the present. And so we thank you for the present that you gave us today. It's not yesterday. It's not the past. It's the present. And it is a present from a good God. It's wrapped in favor. It's wrapped in friendship. It's wrapped in fellowship with you. It's wrapped in possibility and promise. And God, because we are people of faith, we deeply believe, we deeply trust that you've got a blessing in store for us today. It might be the same job. It might be the same house. It might be the 
the same trail and path that we went on before, but there's a new blessing in it. There's a new promise in it because it comes from you. So on June 3rd, Wednesday, 2015, we say, God, we trust you and we praise you. We're grateful for this new day, this new day that we had not seen, but you've given us to see. You've given us to be victorious. In fact, God, your word says that we are victorious in all things, God. So we know even in this, we're victorious. Even in that, even in this struggle, even in this testing time, even in this difficulty, we are victorious because we are on your side, because we are with you, because we are yours. We are yeah. successful. We're not failures. We're not doomed or destined to fall and falter and be out and be outcast and be losers, but we are winners in Christ. You, you've got our backs. You've got our front. You've got our future. We are on the Lord's side. Whose side are you on? The Lord's side. God, it's good to know that we're on the Lord's side, that we are your children. So we are victorious. And God, we come today with a special praise report and prayer request. God, our prayer is that you will encourage our hearts, that you will feel the gap that's been leaking and seeping of our strength, and you would take what has destroyed us and make it our testimony that we will say we believe that God can change it, that God can turn it around, that God can use it for his glory, that God can use it for his good, that just like Calvary looked terrible, looked tragic and looked bad and felt like it was all over, even Peter said, how could this happen? And the disciples walked away devastated and Mary and Martha all thought that something had happened terrible and could not get better, but the truth is, you turned it around God, so we're trusting you right now to turn around every situation in our life, every relationship that's not good, every habit that's been hurting us, every hard situation that we don't see the good in. We're asking, believing, and trusting, and standing on your word. We're standing on our, our promise. We're standing on the word of God. We're standing on, you told us that things would get better. You told us that you would bless us. You told us that you are in control. You told us that uh, you would make us the head and not the tail. You told us that in everything we would be victorious. And so we're doing like David. David in 1 Samuel verse uh, chapter 30 verse 6 encouraged himself in the Lord and God you told David that you would give him back everything that the enemy had taken. And so God we're doing like David. We're going to get what you called us to go and get. We're going to get the blessings of in our life and of our life. We're going to get the joy you promised us, the wisdom you promised us, the love you promised us, the peace you promised us, the power you promised us, the victory that you promised us. We're trusting that we can do all things through Christ Jesus. We're trusting that you are blessing us right now, that it's all been a setup so that your word can be made plain and your witness can be shown to the world that, God, you are on our side. We trust you and we love you. We know that you do all things well. You've never failed. You don't break your promises. You're not a liar. You're not a man that you could lie. But you do what you said you do. So we're waiting and walking in your word. We're pursuing your promises. And so our head is up and our shoulders back. Our confidence is filled. We're not discouraged. We're encouraged in the Lord. We're filled with courage and confidence. We're standing on your promise. And so, God, we give you the glory today. God, we worship today. God, we say thank you today. God, we trust you today. You are a good God. You are God alone, God. We lift our hands in adoration and worship. We open our mouth and say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and praise God. God, thank you for being good to us. We love you and we trust you. You are not a man that you could lie. Your word is true. Your promises are true. You are God. We thank you for your blessings in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen and praise God. Praise God. Amen and praise God. Today is Wednesday. We hope to see you at Bible study where we're finishing first and second. Thessalonians. It has been a joy to pray with you. I thank God for you. Be encouraged. Read First Samuel chapter 30. It's a, a chapter filled with encouragement. It's a chapter filled with the witness that God is faithful. It's only 31 verses. Be encouraged. I'll see you tonight at Bible study. God bless. God bless.